Hey guys, while well, summer is ending for most of the United States, over here in San Diego, we're actually coming to the hottest part of the summer, which is fall. It's bizarre, but yeah, it's been really hot. So I want to give my top five tips on how to stay cool for airsoft. Um, number one, hydrate. Uh, not just hydrate, hydrate, prehydrate. So if I'm going to go to a big game, I start prehydrating at least a week before. And by prehydrate, what I mean is I'm drinking, I'm drinking like six liters of water throughout the day. Um, it's gonna be different for each person, of course. Um, this is not medical advice, this is just what I do. So again, um, prehydrating is, is the way to go and the best thing you could do to keep cool and airsoft and, and safe when a hotter day is going on. Because if you're trying to drink water while you're already overheated, you're already too late. So drinking water ahead of time builds up the water in your body and then you just sweat that off as you're playing while you're drinking sometimes too. That, that definitely helps, but prehydrating is definitely a way to go. Um, next thing I've been doing lately, um, I have an ice machine here at our house inside these thermal flasks. Uh, what I do, I'm sorry, hydro flask, is a, a trick my friend taught me, is you don't fill this at water at home. What you do, see full, full of ice the night before, and you cap it off, and then I take all the other ice that we have, and I put one of these two uh, gallon uh, water dispensers, put all the rest of, rest of the ice in here, fill this full of water, and then throughout the day at the field, take the water out of here and put it into this one. It's already full of ice. So what happens is all the water you're putting here, it gets super cold and it's very, very refreshing. Helps you cool you down while you're drinking water the day of the game. So that is a, something we've been doing. It helps out a lot. Um, so, I mean, most people are going to know about Camelbacks. Uh, so you can carry water on the field with you. Um, this is going to be mixed and the reason i say that is water is not light it weighs as much as water but if you're starting to carry around two three liters and you're only playing a game that's 30 minutes is it really worth the extra exhaustion what you have to carry for water you're not gonna really need so i mean yeah if you're playing like hour two hour games yeah definitely carry water with on the field with you but if you're just doing shorter games, you could be, I would honestly keep the water back at your staging, car, whatever you wanna do. Um, the other thing you can do to help is you can get a two cover for your, uh, your line. So that way the sun isn't heating up the water in the tube. Otherwise you have to like suck up the warm water, spit that out and start, uh, then you can get to the cool water that's coming out of your, your pack. So yeah, um, only carry water if it's a longer game. By longer, I mean longer an hour and get a uh, tube cover so your water stays uh, cooler. Um, next thing, uh, this is, uh, some people don't agree, but I've gone hiking in stupid temperatures. I shouldn't have gone hiking, and it just always seems to help, is cover your entire body. So that means long sleeve shirts, a hat to cover your head, all those kinds of things. That way the sun is not beating down your skin and heat up anymore. Um, also, if you get one of these combat tops, so you have like the normal tough arms, but the center and the back is like a t-shirt material. So that way it's lighter uh, and not heating up as much. And of course, I mean, for name's sake, a uh, boonie hat um, keeps the sun off the back of your uh, neck as well. And again, just covers you up so the sun isn't beating down on you and heating you up that way. Um, and then while you're sweating, your, so your clothing gets soaked with water anyway, so it's gonna kinda help you cool down a little bit with with the, all those nasty clothes you're gonna wear. But again, whenever I go play, I don't do shorts or uh, short sleeve. I find it better to just go with long sleeve and uh, don't get the sun on me. Next thing I've been doing for a long time is a frog tog. Um, so it's just one of those, uh, you cover some water, you know, it soaks up all the water, and it has a very, very high surface area. So what I'll do is I'll put this around the back of my neck and down my shirt, and then I'll, I'll put my BDU top over that, and then just have it a tiny piece of the back poking out by my back of my neck. That way it acts as a wick. So this gets really, really cold, which is really nice, and it keeps you cool. 
It doesn't take up much space. Um, they're cheap. Again, this is, a, this is a frog tog. I just cut mine to, to make a better fit for me. I also have tried using this as a sweatband, a much shorter version of this. So again, just cut it to fit you and then just uh, wears a sweatband like underneath your hat, something like that. Um, that can also help a lot if you get a lot of sweat going into your goggles and it fogs up your goggles and gets in your eyes, makes your eyes sing. Um, doing a, a sweat headband with one of these can also help. So the last thing and the reason I don't include this in my go-to list, this is an ice plate by I think Cute Performance. So the idea is you fill this full of water, put this whole thing in the freezer, you let it freeze, and then you bring it out the next day, you put this in your the place in your rig where you put like a plate, typically in the back. And then that'll keep you cool, and also you can drink the water that uh, melts from it. So the reason I don't use this, yet I still wanna mention it, is it really depends on your rig. So for, I have a 511 plate carrier, and it has these cool padded cushions in the back, which is normally nice, but the problem with the, the plate is it doesn't touch my back enough. So I don't really get the cooling benefit because of these cushions for the weight. Now, if you have a different plate carrier where you just have like one layer of Cordura or, or nylon or whatever between the plate and your back, sure, go for it. But if you have anything that's padded in the back, you might want to avoid that because um, I, I just don't think it's worth it. But, so again, it's a quick review. Prehydrate, put ice in the hydro flask, then put the water on it to, to get super cold water while you're drinking it and then refill to get more. Um, water bladder, depending on how long the game you're going to play. Frog tog, long sleeve shirts and pants, a hat. And then ice plates, just depending on how your rig is. Have a good one.